Uh, we're coming in the main door to the main house and we look up towards the ceiling and we see the main beams going from one side and then going all the way over to the other wall almost 15 meters and the planks up there constitute the floor of the uh, attic and those planks run the entire length of the building from the distance there to the left when I come in turning all the way around and going to the right room they have stuccoed the ceilings this one a little bit more innate you can see but under that stucco are those planks and then turning to the other side that used to be their main bedroom they have lowered the ceiling I guess to conserve heat and put this plaster uh, uneven plaster on the ceiling but under that plaster are the same boards that we see here in this room I am now going up this ladder you know this ladder you bought it and I'm going up into the attic I'm not going actually in I'm standing on the ladder and take some movies to the left and to the right we are now looking in one direction in the attic you see how it is with the tiles on the roofs and it's going up I guess you would call that an A-frame kind of roof and you'll see the planks running down the length of the building in both directions let me see if I can get a close-up of that side hold on You see on that end how the uh, supports are laid out because that's an open area over there. We'll come in with the garages with the big green doors. There's still some stuff up here like beds and casks and so on. I guess for their local moonshine. So again the roof looks like they're spaced every meter the rafters and these are, are spaced about every meter or so I'll make a measurement to see what the distance is between them okay now I measured this 15 meter long beam on the ceiling here and this dimension here I guess you could say the vertical direct dimension is 15 centimeters and looking at it from the bottom across like this that's 17 centimeters and they're placed one meter apart and the same thing in the uh, attic the roof supports the joists are one meter apart with that center support there I don't know what you call it perna or something and then that's the support there for the perna let me see if I can get a closer look at that one there okay 
now we're on the outside in the main entrance to the building and you see the wood supports and it's just filled in with brick between those beams there and they look to be about 15 by centimeter cent, 7 centimeters excuse me 15 by 17 centimeters again here we're looking at one end of the building and you see the bricks are just fill between the beams but the beams are the structural measure uh, members and all the bricks can be removed and the, the integrity uh, the strength of the building would remain the same uh, it looks like they're spaced one meter apart but it's rather irregular because of the diagonal uh, beams there and the uh, door openings there's the shack with the roof and uh, you see on the right hand side there we've already taken the shingles off of that little extension we intend to take the extension down and open that area between the house and the shack uh, the full length of the building is uh, 20 meters which is somewhat over 60 feet you see it goes up to this opening for the vehicles to enter and then it ends with this little room here which is nothing but a junk storage our thought is to enclose this area here the car entrance and make it part of the interior of the house and then the wall over here the brick wall the stone wall to open that up and make a car entrance there and then this uh, lawn area here we would erect some sort of canopy w under which we would bring the cars we have enough room here to have uh, three or four cars each parked being each able to exit uh, uh, the, the uh, same opening. You can see past the chimney there to that what I would call the left edge of the building and going down the roof line of the building to the car entrance. and ending at this end with the stone wall going up to our neighbor's property. That is 17 meters long, that wall. Here we are in the front or street side of the building, and we're just gonna pan across the building here from the street side so you can get an idea. Of what we're talking about the foundation level strong is what I've been told by a contractor who attends Terry Sweeney's church you see the beams on the bottom the verticals and the beams on the top let me see if I can get a better shot of the beams sitting on the top Okay, here's our foundation. We're following it up past this window here and up above the window is this beam that goes all around the building at that level and then we go up into the attic area. Here's a, just a little closer shot of the beams they are strong and uh, no hollow sound to them at all I believe that they are very structurally sound 